The global TB burden is enormous. In 2011, 8.7 million people developed tuberculosis, including 3 million women and half a million children. 1.4 million lose their lives every year to this preventable and curable disease. This makes tuberculosis second only to HIV AIDS as the greatest infectious killer in the world. Further, an estimated half a million people get ill with multidrug resistant tuberculosis worldwide every year. MDRTB has been detected in virtually every country. Extensively drug resistant TB confined to just a handful of countries a few years ago has now been reported in over 90 countries. At the same time, there is progress in control efforts. In the space of 17 years, 51 million people have been successfully treated according to WHO recommendations. Without the treatment, 20 million people would have died. However, this progress is now in real danger. We are at a crossroads between TB elimination within our lifetime and millions more deaths. Success can only be achieved through political commitment, intensified implementation of existing tools and advances in research and development. So far, TB care and control have relied on antiquated tools such as the microscope. Progress in new diagnostic tools for TB came in only recently with EXPERT, a rapid test endorsed by WHO in 2010 that can reliably diagnose tuberculosis and drug resistance within hours instead of weeks. The test has been rolled out now in 83 developing countries. Yet, there is no point-of-care test yet capable to rapidly detect tuberculosis and multidrug-resistant tuberculosis. This is urgently needed. For the first time in over 40 years, a new TB drug, bedaquiline, is available for the treatment of severe MDR-TB. There is now urgent need for a shorter and simpler drug therapy for people with drug-susceptible TB, child-friendly TB treatment, and less toxic and safer therapy for people with drug-resistant TB. With regard to TB vaccines, there is no effective pre- or post-exposure vaccine yet available today, However, there are dozen vaccines in the pipeline. We can hope to have a new vaccine by 2025. These advances in research need to be backed by political commitment and financial resources. Sharing the costs of tackling this epidemic can yield a lot of benefits. While TB has been largely forgotten in the developed world, we need to remember that the world has no boundaries today, especially for infectious diseases. With globalization, TB is no longer confined to poor countries. It can travel overnight from one corner to another of this world. None of us can afford to walk away from TB or leave it to others. We need determined leadership, especially from the countries, from the donors, and also from the non-governmental organization and all of you who handle tuberculosis in your daily practice. I really must commend the work of the European Respiratory Society that has been monumental in supporting the fight against TB in Europe and in the world. The ambitious path towards elimination in Europe, charted out by the ERS and my colleagues in the WHO European office, can be a pathfinder for the rest of the world. I believe, really, the time is now. I urge you to join hands with us in ending the TB epidemic.